And in business news, the federal government has ordered the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and the liquefied petroleum gas producers to halt the export of LPG or cooking gas from November 1st to reduce prices across the country. Minister of State for uh, Petroleum Resources, Gas, Mr. Ekwerike Ekbo, gave the directive at a meeting with stakeholders uh, in Abuja. Spokesperson to the minister, Mr. Louis Mba, said the meeting focused on skyrocketing price of cooking gas in the country. He said on a short-term solutions effective from November 1st, 2024, NNPCL and LPG producers are to stop exporting LPG produced in country or import equivalent volumes of LPG exported at cost-reflective prices. On pricing framework, the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority will engage stakeholders to create a domestic LPG price framework within 90 days indexing price to cost of in-country production. Recall that the ministers, in his efforts to curb the soaring price, established a high-level committee in November 2023, led by the chief executive of the NMDPRA and comprising key stakeholders in the LPG value chain. And in a bid to enhance the safety and competitiveness of Nigeria's ports, the Honorable Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, along with the Managing Director of the Nigerian Ports Authority, are seeking technical support from the International Maritime Organization. At the World Maritime Day Parallel event in Barcelona, Spain, the two officials are engaged in critical panel discussions, focused on IMO's 2024 theme, Navigating the Future Safety First. The collaboration is part of Nigeria's broader port modernization program, aimed at position in the nation's maritime sector for global competitiveness. The International Monetary Fund has lowered its 2024 growth forecast for Nigeria's economy to 2.9%. Well, that's in another news, attributing it to downgrade uh, to a weaker than expected economic activity in the first half of the year. For the IMF's reports now, this is contained in IMF's October 2024 World Economic Outlook released during the ongoing annual meetings of the World Bank and IMF. The revised forecast represents a 0.2% uh, decrease from the 3.1% growth forecast projected in the July 2024 figures. However, the IMF slightly raised the forecast for Nigeria's economic growth in 2025, projecting a growth rate of 3.2%, up from 3% in the July report. Similarly, the IMF reduced its 2024 growth forecast for sub-Saharan Africa to 3.6%, down from 3.7% in July. However, it raised the regions of uh, 2025 and uh, the region's 2025 growth forecast to 4.2%, up from 4.1%. Well, in the same vein, the International Monetary Fund says global growth is projected to remain unchanged at 3.2% in 2024 and 2025 as inflation recedes this is according to IMF's latest World Economic Outlook update report for October 2024. Policy pivot raising threats released during the IMF World Bank meetings in Washington, D.C. The report said that though the projection is in line with the July and April 2024 World Economic Outlook, there had been notable revisions beneath the surface, the surface since April. According to the report, some low-income and developing economies have seen sizable downside growth revisions, often tied to disruptions of production and shipping of commodities, especially oil, conflict, civil unrest, and extreme weather events. Well, we have a lot of good news that inflation is coming down as we had expected, and in most countries we are expecting it to be back to targets. At the same time, the global economy has been quite resilient and we're expecting growth rate to be 3.2 both this year and next. The not so good news, however, is that in the medium term, we're still expecting lackluster growth of a little bit over three. We have three main policy recommendations. One relates to monetary policy for central banks to pivot towards providing more support to activity where inflation is under control. The second one is about fiscal policy that we see the need for consolidation that is credible and that is done in a growth preserving manner. And the third one is related to boosting that medium term growth by implementing structural reforms to increase productivity uh, and labor supply.
Gold prices hit a record high today and the dollar was on the rise, keeping pressure on the yen and the euro while Asian stocks inch higher as investors were reluctant to place major bets ahead of a hostly contested U.S. elections as MSCI's broadest uh, index of Asian Pacific shares outside of Japan uh, was last 0.3% higher. Tokyo's Nikkei fell 1% ahead of Japan's election this weekend. China and Hong Kong stocks were buoyed by the promise of governments to help for the economy, even though the scope and timing of stimulus measures remain uncertain. The listless mood was set to continue in Europe, with Eurostock 50 features 0.08% higher, German DAX features up 0.11%, FTSE features down 0.04%. Right. All right, wrapping up business news, crude oil prices fell today after industry data showed U.S. crude inventories swelled more than expected. Though declines were capped as the market watched diplomatic efforts in the Middle East after Israel continued attack on Gaza and Lebanon. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude rose to sell at $71.02 per barrel with a decline of 1%. Brent also experienced a downward margin of 0.93% to sell at $75. Uh, that's uh, $75.33. Bonnie Light sells for $78.62 per barrel with a downward review of 2.84%. And for the OPEC basket, dealers are offering $73.00. 02 cents with a decline of 0.26 percent. All right, the breaking news, the news just in, says the Federal Executive Council has scrapped the Ministry of Niger Delta and the Ministry of Sports Development. There will now be a Ministry of Regional Development to oversee all regional development commissions, such as the Niger Delta Development Commission, North West Development Commission, South West Development Commission, and North East Development Commission. The National Sports Commission will take over the role of the Ministry of Sports. The FEC also approved the merger of the Ministry of Tourism with the Ministry of Culture and Creative Economy. The decisions were taken today at the meeting of the Federal Executive Council in Abuja. We'll bring you more in our subsequent bulletins. Next is Sports News. <laughs>